Hey guys, it is Jack here, that vegan dad here for another vegan taste test review and I have got another one from Cole's Nature's Kitchen. Every couple of weeks, Cole's Nature Kitchen are releasing new vegan friendly items. It is so exciting and majority of the time they have been really good quality as well. But today they have recently released some new ranges of vegan friendly cheeses. So all cheddar style cheeses. We've got a block of the cheddar here. We've got some cheddar style slices and then also they have grated cheese as well. So this is amazing that this is available and brings a bit more competition to the market. There's other brands out there which are quite expensive, whereas these are all $5 or $5.50. So I'm pretty sure Pretty sure the block was $5, the other two were $5.50, so not too bad value when you compare it to others on the market which are closer to $8. So these are 200 grams, all of these. I know made with plants are also 200 grams and they are a little bit cheaper. I believe two of their items are $4.25 and one of them is $5. So still relatively price competitive with others on the market. So the biggest question with vegan cheese often is the taste and how it mounts. So today I'm gonna to be making up a variety of different items. I'm gonna chuck some in a cheese toaster. You're gonna to have some by itself. Gonna make a little pizza as well and just see how they melt, how the flavors are and see if they are worth your money. So let's get into this taste test review straight away. All right guys, I've got a selection of different items here utilizing all the different cheeses. So the cheese slices went in to the toasty and it melted incredibly well actually. Just had it in the toasty maker and it has melted really well. Just got some bickies with the cheddar on there and then I also chucked a little mini pizza in the air fryer. Hasn't melted as well as the toasty but there are bits where it has started to melt. So probably if I had it in the, the air fryer for a little bit longer, or whacked it into the microwave, it may have melted a bit better than it has. But it, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with the initial stages. They have coconut oil based cheeses as well. Much like a majority of the other cheeses that are on the market, coconut based. So if you aren't really keen on coconut based items, this is definitely not gonna be for you. Either way, I want to get into this cheese toasty straight away because it is melting out here, so. So the melt is perfect in the toasty. It was melted up incredibly well. In terms of flavor, it does have a cheddar flavor to it, which is really good. Other vegan cheddar cheeses on the market don't really, in my opinion, have a strong cheddar taste, whereas this one definitely has a strong cheddar-like taste to it, which is really great. Off the bat, that was a good start. Melted incredibly well. Good flavors to it as well. Some vegan cheeses are quite plain in taste, whereas that one, definitely a distinctive cheddar taste to that one. I want to try out the mini pizza one here. So this was with the grated cheddar style slices. Not as strong as a distinctive cheddar taste to this one compared to the actual slices. It's probably because it's kind of like grated. So it's not as much cheese on the one area. A Little bit disappointed that it didn't melt, but that could have been that I didn't sweat it enough. Like with vegan cheeses, it does need some moisture to help it melt. So it may be if I didn't cook it as long as in the air fryer and then just whacked it in for the last couple of minutes in the microwave and probably would have melted up pretty well. Overall, the taste is almost there. Pretty good option in comparison to others on the market. Well priced though as well. So let's try out these little cheddar from the cheddar block. Just got it on a salada here. Texture's good on it. I noticed with this, all these cheeses, they were actually quite starchy, quite powdery as they came out of the packet. 
and on the cheddar cheese as well, like the cheddar from the cheddar block, a little bit starchy. Not a strong cheddar taste compared to the slices. Cheddar slices in terms of that cheddar taste was like almost identical to what I remember actual dairy-based cheddar being like. You know, it could have definitely been a little bit stronger in the block, but overall, good texture. Not a too bad taste on that one either. A little bit starchy, but overall it is a very good option as well. Really happy with that block option there. Overall, for the, the price and the value that you get from these items, these have to be personally for me, one of the better valued vegan cheeses out on the market. Really great value for what you actually get. 200 gram packets of each of these, $5, $5.50, really well priced in comparison to other brands on the market. For me, I don't like doing comparisons with other company in these reviews generally, but for me personally, I've done a review on the Made With Plants vegan cheeses, and for me, Cole's Nature's Kitchen one comes out on top in my opinion. I feel like they're quite similar, but in terms of how it actually melted, the cheddar taste on those slices. That is by far one of the better vegan cheese slices that I have actually tasted. So really good value, great taste, great cheddar taste to this one. So really happy overall with these slices. Grated cheese, great option as well. Probably, probably not great for melting. I know there's some other brands. There's a brand at Costco that you can get, which is really great for melting. The grated cheese is amazing. And actually just having a cheddar block by itself, this is probably gonna, this would probably be my go-to to get good texture. Probably could have had a stronger taste to it, but then still for the price, really, really good value there. Anyway, that is just my opinion. And I just have to say that Nature's Kitchen is absolutely killing it at the moment with all their new vegan friendly items that they're coming out. One of the better vegan brands that are out and about at the moment in the supermarkets, Coles have done a fantastic job of catering for their vegan market. And the quality of their items is definitely up there and well priced as well, which is always important for a lot of people. So if the quality's there and the price, you have an absolute winner. This would definitely probably be my go to in the future anyway that is just my opinion if you have tried them out please let me know your feedback in the comment section below always love hearing from you guys each and every time and if you enjoyed the video chuck a like share it around and comment below of what food items that you want to see me taste test next always love hearing from you guys so until next time i'll catch you all very soon